need to be helping you. I'm going to talk to some folks. He threw out a name, said, I just sent your information to him right now, right? Somebody throw me something, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But even if they don't, bro, we still going to win. Because I tell everybody this, the Marcus Garvey movement was built with poor black money, not rich black money. Right. Every, the Black Panthers was built with poor black money, not rich black money. Every major movement we had was built with everyday black pennies, not rich dollars. So I don't believe I need a celebrity backer to get this done. I believe it'll get done quicker right, right. with a celebrity backer. But we're going to cross the finish line anyway. Question is, do we have to wait another two years? That's the only question. We're going to cross the finish line. Can right. we cross it this new year? Or do we have to wait to 2022? That's my only concern. Mm -hmm. Which honestly is a good concern to have. It's not a bad yeah. concern, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Appreciate you, Black man. man I appreciate you, Dr. I'll be coming to KC soon as well. So sure, I'll look. get the people out of there. Yeah, yeah, for yes, sure. Sir. All, All right, right brother. Peace, Black man. Safe now. Mm -hmm. Always good to hear one of my supporters tap in, tap in. Hit your cash app, dollar sign, FDMG school. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your cash app, dollar sign, FDMG school. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Sisters, the For Sisters Only podcast will begin on Saturday, October the 31st. For all black, excuse me, for all black women, for all my sisters out there, if you want to sign up for the For Sisters Only podcast, go to my Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and you will see the link. Or you could text me for the For Sisters Only podcast, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. First episode drops October 31st on the new moon in Taurus. And the first episode for the For Sisters Only podcast is called Sex is not a cure for depression and loneliness. Sex is not a cure for depression and loneliness. Okay, if you want the regular podcast, text me for the regular podcast link. I got some new episodes about to drop. Plus, you get all 18 of the current episodes. And if you want to sign up for the Loyal Donors Club, go to drumarjohnson.com. Become a loyal donor of the FDMG Academy. Help us raise this money to pay off this HVAC. Let's get this school open. Go to drumarjohnson.com. $50 a month for Bronze Club. $100 a month for Silver Club. $250 a month for the Gold Club. $500 a month for the Platinum Club. And $1,000 a month for the Diamond Club. Uh, I'm looking for a new place to hold my book signing in Harlem. Okay, somebody hated on me and the uh, book signing was canceled at the original location. So we need a new place in New York City. It doesn't have to be Harlem. I would like it to be Harlem. It doesn't have to be Harlem. I would like it to be Harlem, brothers and sisters. So for my New York City people, if, um, if you know of a spot where we can hold the book signing on Friday, October 30th, please get in contact with me. Tap in if you want to tap in. Tap in if you want to tap in. Kev Darko going once. Kev Darko going twice. Talk to me, Kev. How you doing, Dr. Omar? Where you at, black man? Where you at in the world? I'm in the Bronx, New York. Bronx, New York. Boogie down. Yes, sir. What's your question tonight, brother Kev? Uh, well, you know, I was listening to you and the other brother talk and something that came on my mind, like I'm still in high school right now. Um, and I feel like for your demographic, a lot of the people that you are, uh, preaching to, um, we're like up and coming people, you know, we don't really uh -huh. like that. Um, and part of me feels like with your movement, a lot of it needs monetary support and we just don't really have it. So I want to know like the role of young people support themselves um how do we help uh how do y'all help the way y'all help black man is to get other people interested in donating you feel me 
Yes, we sir. need y'all to get other people interested in donating. Get your parents, get your aunts, get your uncles, get those type of brothers and sisters involved in helping us get the movement started. That's the way that you guys can really, really help what we're trying to do, brother. Just spread the word. Just spread the word. Say, here's a brother trying to open up a school for the babies. You know what I mean? Can y'all give him a donation? Can y'all help him out? That's the way to make that happen. I got you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You said you were in the Bronx. Yes. Um, you know, I'm supposed to be coming to New York. Yeah, I was hoping to sign. go. I was hoping yeah. to go. Yeah, and I, yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll still find a spot. Hopefully uh, we will still find a spot um, by that time. Hopefully we still find a spot by that time, brother. But uh, stay strong. Stay away from the white girls. Keep your reading on. Get your consciousness on. And hopefully I'm going to see you on October 30th. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, Thank brother. You, brother. Be safe. Let's see. A few more taps. Where Miss Brown skin at? Where Miss Brown skin at? Where you at, Miss Brown skin? I can't see your face, Miss Brown skin. Are you? Oh, wait, wait. I'm gonna turn on the light. I'm gonna turn on the light. Wait, wait, wait. Turn on the light. Okay. Can you see me now? I'll see you now, beautiful. Where you at? Miss Hi, Dr. Umar Johnson. I'm like, oh, Jesus. I'm ecstatic right now that you just went live with me. Um, yeah. Where I just want to say, you I've been. <laughs> Where you okay. at? What I'm state? In... What city? I'm in Oakland, California. <laughs> okay. West Coast. West Coast. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm on the West Side all day. I'm on the West Coast. Um, okay. So I just want to say, I've been watching you for a long time. And um, I learned so much, like, from watching you. And I'm just, like, so inspired. You one of my. Uh, top 10 you know best uh inspiration so far but and i've been Glad praying for you too because uh you've been needing a lot of prayers you got a lot of haters like you said somebody just shut down your um your book signing and hard yes. you know that's cool yes. i hope y'all yes. you know find another spot oh somebody said town business <laughs> oh, but see, see, we mess with you. We mess with you out here. You know, see, yes, so, ma'am. You know, some of our people, we woke. Some of us woke. We ain't all woke. You know what I'm saying? But we getting there. You know, we getting yes, there. Yes, ma'am. So, um, but anyways, uh, yeah, Black Power, um, all day, every day, three sixty five. <laughs> you know also, what I'm also, um, also, I need a location for the book signing in Oakland. I want oh, to come yeah. to Oakland and do the book signing. So when I need y'all to help me. Say that again. I want to be there. When is you planning this? Well, when we find a spot, you know, I got to find a location before I could choose a date. Right. That's true. Because, you know, I was, no, I was out place. there at the Black Repertoire Theater. Oh, um, okay. But it's too small. Way. We packed that thing out. It's too small. Yeah. It's too small. But it don't have to be a lecture. I could just come and sign books for real. You can. You, you can, know what I mean? Because people still going to show up. Exactly. So if you I'm think of something... If you, you think of a place, pandemic mask on, all that, I'm still showing up. <laughs> I appreciate you. If you think of a place, you let me know. Send me a message. Okay, 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 I will. sweetheart. Well, thank you for um, thank for you, having love. me, and um, peace and blessings to you. And I'll keep you in my prayers, and so is your family and your loved ones. Okay. All right, Queen. Peace and, and blessings. Keep me in your prayers too. Thank you. I will. Queen. I promise. Okay. All right, love. All right, bye. Bless. <laughs> That's what we doing. It's all about unity. It's all about unity, brothers and sisters. Soccer mom. Where's soccer mom at? Soccer mom 89. It says soccer hey, hey. mom. You ain't no mom. You a brother. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? What's going on, brother? Where you at in the world? Uh, Salisbury, Maryland. Salisbury, Maryland. Uh, Salisbury. How far East is that from D.C.? Oof, probably about probably probably about two hours. Okay, you on the yeah. eastern shore? Where you at? I can yeah. hear you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, how far eastern are you from Denton, Maryland? How far? I don't even know Denton? what that is. I'm not. I'm, what I'm about, not sure uh, what that is. Carolina. What what county is Salisbury in? Oh, uh, Wicomico County. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's on your mind, good brother? Um, okay, so I'm basically kind of like a new follower, I guess you would say. Um, uh -huh. I'm a new artist. And one thing I had, I was always wondering was, 
because how I got introduced to you was through memes and kind of like funny videos going around and like and I'm like who is that and why is like everybody sharing them and stuff like that so for the longest time like I thought you were just like a joke and then you know all of this uh Black Lives Matter really like kicked in and then now you know saying like all of my uh YouTube feed is kicking in with your videos with the Breakfast Club and so I watch all of those like four times just you know like just to catch up and stuff and to me, I feel like one of your, one of your biggest, um, not flaws, but one, but one of the reasons why you, you are, you are, you are hated so much was because you know, like people took the opportunity and chance to make a joke out of you. So I always wondered if you had the chance to go back, would you do anything different to kind of avoid that, or you know, what I'm saying something like that. That's a good question, brother. I don't think I would change anything. Uh, because I'm authentic, you know, okay. I'm authentic, you know, anybody who would ever like to be in my space, they could get a chance to be in my space. And what I mean by that is I still do the lectures, you know, I haven't traded it in for YouTube videos. You know, I always do meet and greets. I always sign books, take the pictures. You know, if I go to a restaurant to eat and somebody want to pull up and ask some questions, I let them do it. Like I'm probably the most personable scholar, you know, in the country. So I wouldn't change anything because the people who had a chance to share space with me, they know who I really am and what I really stand for. Mm -hmm. Like I tell people all the time, socially, I'm very fun. You know, I like to have fun. I like to crack jokes. But inwardly, I'm very serious, though. Yeah. So socially, you know, I like to have fun. But I, inside, I'm very serious. And people who spend a lot of time around me, they can say, wow, like he likes to have fun, but he's very, very serious about the mission. And I think that's probably one thing a lot of people don't understand who haven't had a chance to share space with me is how serious I am about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I don't like the memes, though. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. There, 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 there's uh, pages on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. There's nothing a lot of them. Bar memes. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't like it. It's a distraction from the movement. It's a distraction from what I'm trying to do. You know, and we as a people have a very bad habit of trying to laugh at the very folks who are giving their lives for us. You know, we have a very bad habit. Like I'm not a joke and my life ain't a joke and my work is not a joke. And to just see people uh, salivate at the opportunity to take a clip out of context mm -hmm. and make something out of it. There was one brother about a week ago, I told him to stop putting my memes on his page because he's in a conscious community and someone who's in a conscious community, I would expect a little bit more. Yeah, you know, and it was other people say, "Yo, bro, you gotta say something to this guy because he got number of memes and memes." He said they put up, he puts other content on his page from other personalities, and he don't, you know, trivialize them. He doesn't make a joke out of them. But every time I'm on his page, it's always yeah. something goofy. You know, he don't share the information that can help kids and stuff. It's always a goofy type of thing. And I know he would never do that with the leader of his organization. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I told him respectfully, bro, don't put me on your page no more, man, because you're using me to get views and likes and you're not even respecting what I'm about. So I, I mean, not to do it. And he respectfully said he wouldn't. And hopefully yeah. he respects me. I mean, I am not do that. I'm looking at the comments right now and like half of them are literally just repeating all of the memes going around you. So it's just. Yeah, yeah, it's just kind of sad. Yeah. Care. All right. And um, I had another. Yeah. One more question, right? Um, I know you on the Breakfast Club talked about the lack of celebrity support. And way before I even like knew anything about all of this, one thing I always wondered was like, why is it that they're so afraid to kind of do something? You know what I'm saying? Like you have LeBron James doing his own thing with the, I forgot what type of school it was, but you said he basically doesn't own it. It's just kind of like half government. It's a public school. I think it's a charter school. Yeah, it's yeah, charter school. Public. It's not his. He did not yeah. build the school. He he doesn't control anything. He don't make no decisions there. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. So basically, I was just wondering, like, why? Well, one, why is it that they're so afraid of kind of coming together and doing something like you or at least just support you just like he was just speaking with that other brother about uh just uh like people putting you on with other people right
because they don't want to be chastised by the white power structure. You know, as great as these actors are, these celebrities, these athletes, most of them made their money through the white power structure. You follow me? Yeah. That's how they got. They're not really self-made men. Like, we'll look at them, we'll call them self-made. They're not really self-made. Self-made is when you do it outside the white power structure. Mm -hmm. You see, we're getting checks from the NBA, checks from the NFL, checks from the white media companies. That's not self-made because the white man is feeding you. No matter how you look at it, the white man is feeding you. It's just like YouTube. You look at your leading conscious YouTubers, they'll talk about white racism. But white racism is feeding your family. You depend on YouTube to pay your bills. So how are you going to sit up here and talk about white folks and yet they're feeding your family? So it's a contradiction. Yeah. So we have to build more self-made men, men who try to do what they do outside of the white power structure so our people can understand you can be successful without depending on a slave master. You got to get off the slave master's breast milk. And when you look at most black millionaires you know, their status came through the white man's breast milk, which is why they're not free to do anything because he still controls them. You know, Oprah Winfrey is worth billions of dollars, but guess what? They she, still, yeah. she is not free because she made her money through his system. Oprah Winfrey didn't start an independent show, you know, and, and, and built up an independent network and became a billionaire off of an independent black woman platform. Uh-uh. She went right through Hollywood, right through the major network, you know? And so as long as they're the ones that's making you rich, you'll never be free to do what you want. Like me, I can literally say, you know, with what little I have, I'm still self-made. Yeah. And I have no benefactor. I don't belong to no sorority. I'm not no elk. I'm not in no secret gay society. I belong to nothing at all. And I'm sure you've seen those rumors too. Oh, he's a mason. He's a this. I am nothing. If I belong to a secret society, please expose me. <laughs> if I don't do anything, please expose me. You know? Yeah. So, you know, that's just how it goes, brother. But we're just going to keep on pushing. We're going to keep on pushing and doing, you know, what we got to do, brother. That, that, that's what we're all about. Yes, indeed. Uh, well, uh, you can tap it in, man. No, uh, uh, I appreciate you being there. All right, brother. Be safe. Yeah, good. Right. Is that Isis Mags? Isis Mags? Where you at, Queen? I'm not talking to the wall. I got to talk to you. Hey. I got to see your face, so I got to tap you out. Okay. Wait. Hello. Oh, little princess. How you doing there, princess? I'm good. Okay, what city are you in? Where you at? I'm in LA. You in Los Angeles, a lot of West Coast folks. Okay, what's your question for Dr. Umar, little sister? Okay, so the question I have is, a lot of white people, well, the white people I know, like when I told them that, like when I told them about you, they always say like he's a black supremacist or like he thinks that white people are inferior. And just all these assumptions that they have about you, I know they don't watch your videos, I know they don't Really not. Mm -hmm. But like, what do you think about people doing that? Like, um, white people. Here's the thing. What I always say when we discuss Europeans. It doesn't matter what they think because they're committed to their privilege and their power. Do you follow me? They're yeah. committed to their privilege and their power, which means it's a waste of time to try to get them to see your perspective, your point of view. No matter what you show them, no matter what you teach them, no matter what you convince them of, you're not going to change their behavior. You follow me? Even if you change their mind, you're not going to change their behavior because their behavior is all about what? Protecting their privilege and their power. So whether they think Dr. Umar is a racist or not is irrelevant. They're not going to change their behavior. And especially being a black supremacist, I'm not a black supremacist. I do not teach race supremacy. You understand me? I teach yeah. African empowerment, pan-Africanism, do for self. I'm not trying to hurt a single white person. 
I'm not trying to take any opportunity away from a single white boy, white girl. You understand? I'm not trying to do anything to harm any other race. I'm simply trying to build my own. But I'm going to do that unapologetically, and I'm not going to waste time explaining to other people what my mission is. Right. You feel me? Yes. Yeah, sure. How are you doing in school? I'm doing good. All right, you got to keep it up now. You got no okay. babies, okay? I want you married. No babies till you marry. You got, I mean that. I mean that. I mean that. All right. So focus on the books. The boys will be there once you've done your education. Do you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. I want you to go natural, too, because I see that hair ain't natural. When you, when you going natural, princess? When you going natural? I want you, I I want you natural. What, what year are you in? What year are you in? Senior. You're a senior in high school or college? Yeah. High school. Okay. I want you natural okay. before, by graduation day this next spring. Spring 2021. I want you to graduate cap and gown, high school <laughs> diploma, happy to be nappy. You feel me? Yes. All right, princess. I'm counting All right, on you. Thank you. Be safe. Be safe. All right, now. Where Leah at? Going once, Leah going twice. Leah, where you at? <laughs> 